Welcome to Mission Works. Thanks to donors. I'm Dale Meyer. One of the things we do at Concordia Seminary is look ahead. The world has changed so drastically. Don't we know it? And amidst all the changes, what can we do to keep the mission of our Lord Jesus and the mission of your congregation faithful, but also vibrant for years to come? Well, one answer is to offer pastors and laypeople continuing education resources. In early January, we shared some offerings that Concordia Seminary has for you and your congregations. To tell us more, Dr. Travis Scholl, the managing editor of Concordia Seminary Publications, now joins us virtually. So as you can see through modern technology, we've entered a different phase of today's program. Dr. Travis Scholl is with us virtually. Travis, thanks for being with us. The premier publication of the faculty is the Concordia Journal. Tell us about that. Right, so the Concordia Journal has been around a long time and it's been the primary, I guess you could say vehicle for us to live out our that part of our mission of providing theological leadership to church and world. So it's primarily geared toward pastors. All of the pastors of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod get it, but um, we have a, a fair amount of lay people who read it too, who just want to stay up to speed on what's happening in theology and ministry and all those things. But it's been around for a long time and it can actually claim a history that goes all the way back to CFW Walther. To Lara Unvera? That's right, that's right. So let me get a little plug in here. All the pastors of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod get the Concordia Journal for free, correct? For free, for free. So what's interesting is it used to be the Synod would have the seminary publish it because that's part of what they, they bought for the subsidy that they provide to the seminary. Of course, that subsidy is not what it used to be. So now the seminary continues it uh, on our own dime, just because it's that important to uh, keep continuing education in front of our pastors and church workers. So, so let me put it this way, mission works, the CJ goes out thanks to donors. Exactly, exactly. Tell us about concordiatheology.org because that, that's, that's newer and, and it's more immediate. Right, so theology, concordiatheology.org, all one word, is a website the faculty publishes that is tries to um, speak to the more timely issues that are happening in the day. So for instance, in the past year, obviously we published or put a lot of things online at concordiatheology.org related to the pandemic. Uh, we put things on there that can be more devotional in nature a lot of times too. We put on some resources uh, regarding race last summer when all of that was in the news. And so it's just one more thing. I like to refer to our resources as a constellation. So it's just one more star in that constellation. An interesting thing, Dale, I was just looking at our stats yesterday and we redesigned concordiatheology.org in 2017 to coincide with the Reformation anniversary. And we are almost at 1 million page views of concordiatheology.org. Sometime in the spring or summer, we're gonna turn over and hit 1 million page views, which I think is quite an accomplishment. It really is in this media saturated world that we live in. Tell me about Scholar. Right, so uh, Scholar is the archive and it's just scholar.csl.edu. Uh, that is the archive of everything the seminary has produced. Uh, so it's a great resource to find chapel sermons, to find lectures, anything that's been recorded, print, audio, video is there. The beautiful thing is that if you go to Concordia Theology, we tried to make this seamless. If you go to Concordia Theology and you do a search in the search bar, it will also search everything in Scholar. So we try to make it one-stop shopping, but if you want to go directly to Scholar to look for something there, you just go to scholar.csl.edu. If you want to see everything online that the seminary has produced, concordiatheology.org provides that one gateway into all of our online resources. 
And that also includes uh, much of the material that students have in class, correct? Correct, correct. There's courses, any courses that have been recorded uh, are there right there on scholar.csl.edu and it's all organized by, by class. Uh, all the word and work episodes are on Scholar in addition to being on concordiatheology.org. So it really is a treasure trove. Uh, there's all kinds of times I go looking for something on Scholar specific. I end up going down a rabbit hole of seeing all sorts of other interesting things on there. Wait, wait, I'm having a thought. Mission works thanks to donors. Bingo, bingo. One more thing, because we appreciate the time that our, our audience gives us, so we want to keep going. But we've got an interesting new partnership with a university. Tell me about that. Right. So this is where uh, theological resources and continuing education work together. There's a new partnership with Concordia University, Wisconsin, of providing online courses that are related directly to mission and ministry. Uh, and what we do is a Concordia Seminary professor partners with a Concordia University professor to provide something that neither institution on their own would be able to do, but together we're able to do it. And so, for instance, the next course is called Change Management in the Church. So it's all about equipping church workers and lay people. The lay people are welcome and have been uh, participating in these courses. Uh, something very practical, very meaningful for for ministry on the ground, and it's exciting. We've uh, we've 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 tried doing online courses before and never gained traction. This one's gaining traction. And I'm sure part of it has to do with people are so much more comfortable doing things online. But um, yeah, it's a great new thing, and and um, the new one is coming out. I think. Registration for that change management course is happening right now. It starts in April of 2021. That's super. I mean, this is really encouraging. Um, it's, a, it's a new time in the mission of the seminary and in our Lord's mission. And, and you and everyone involved in, in, in that division, what a, what a great job you're doing. Travis, thanks for dropping into our uh, virtual studio. And we look forward to talking with you again about all the continuing education uh, offerings of Concordia Seminary. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. From time to time, people talk about requiring church workers to participate in continuing education. Many professions do make that a requirement. The Lutheran Church Missouri Synod does not. But hey, shouldn't lifelong learning be part of a pastor's life? It is certainly part of my life, and I hope part of your pastor's life as well. And part of your life, too. I mean, we want to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus. Thanks to you, our donors, Concordia Seminary offers congregations a rich array of biblical and confessional offerings for faithful and relevant ministry. It's just another part of Mission Works, thanks to donors.